Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And in this video, what we got to do is solve this expression here. So we got the third root of negative three to the power of nine all over two to the power of three plus the square root of two to the power of four over three to the power of four. Now, what I'm gonna do first, before doing anything within here, I would actually, I'm gonna take this third root and then I'm going to rewrite it as to the power of one over three, like that. And then the same thing with the square root. I'm gonna keep the inside the same and I'm gonna write that to the power of one over two. And then instead of getting the actual numbers here, because notice negative three to the power of nine, that's gonna be a very large number. Two to the power of three is just eight, so that's not bad. And then notice here we'll be working with not too bad of numbers either. But in order to not work with as big numbers in the brackets yet, what I would do is I would take this one over three and I would distribute it to the numerator and then distribute it to the denominator. So a lot of times, you'll notice when I get questions like this, I first try to simplify the brackets first before bringing in any outside exponents. But notice here, these bases, they're different. And so we can't really simplify those with exponent laws anymore. And instead of getting the actual number for each of these expressions, because this negative three to the power of nine is a really large number, I would first bring the one over three in, and then notice that nine times one over three, that just gives us three. Notice negative three to the power of three is a lot nicer to work with than negative three to the power of nine. Now three times one over three would be one, so we'd have two to the power of one at the bottom. This here, we would end up with two to the power of two, uh, right, four times one over two is two. And then over here, we would end up with three to the power of um, two as well. And so now continuing this here, negative three to the power of three is negative 27. Two to the power of one is two. Then we got four over nine, like that. And so from here, Notice we can just add these. Um, we can multiply this by nine, this by nine, multiply this by two, multiply this by two, right? Get a common denominator. Negative 27 times nine gives us negative 243 over 18 plus eight over 18, which would give us negative 235 over 18. And this here, doesn't simplify, that fraction doesn't simplify any further. So the answer to this is negative 235 over 18.